So, what is going on guys? This is Ryan here. And this is other Ryan here. Hey everyone, Rosbevsky here. What's going on guys, Dorko here. And welcome back to another episode of Theory Thursday, and this is going to be episode 7. And this one we're going to actually be dedicating towards the Pink Man and the Purple Man. Now, as a Five Nights at Freddy's community, there's been a lot of confusion over the Pink Man and Purple Man, and a lot of people like to believe different things in relation to this. So, we thought it'd be really nice to spend one of the Theory Thursdays talking about this and sharing our opinions with you guys. So, the first section is going to be talking about, of course, if the Pink Guy and the Purple Guy are the same character, or a different kind of person. Yes, now, there is a huge debate, well, going on right now, that they're, the purple guy is just the pink guy. They're both the same guys. Uh, I think they're saying that the pink guy is just a younger version of the purple mm -hmm. guy. But I think like Razbowski said in a, a previous podcast, they, why would he change the the pigments of the face as well? Yeah, yeah. I understand the, the, the I understand like the uniform might be different, but the actual skin colour is purple as well. And interestingly enough, purple actually represents um I think it represents royalty. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And and mourning and authority apparently. Yeah. So very interesting. Yeah, yeah, the purple colour was used a lot in kind of king's clothing and mm -hmm. um in the in, uh, yeah, hundreds of years back, purple was the, the colour that signified royalty yeah. and there was loads of different variations of uh, purple and its quantity, but it always was in relation to kind of like a royal family or something definitely higher up in the hierarchy. Yeah, yeah. Cause I think it was uh, Doc. You had a video on it, did you not? Where you talking about the significance of purple and where the the background of it all and, mm -hmm. and, and that came from, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Um, I thought for a while. Um, I was kind of on the fence about whether there were two different people because when I started doing theory videos and stuff, that it was it was around about the time that people were tr discussing whether the pink guy was different from the purple guy. And I always originally thought that they were just the same person. I was like, why are there going to be two different murderers in it? It just yeah. complicates things, it convolutes it all, but looking at it more and more, it they, 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 they serve two different functions almost. You've got mm -hmm. the, the, the pink guy clearly kills somebody. The first child we see in the mini games to die is at the hands of the pink guy. Then um, we see the purple guy, but he doesn't really do a great deal, if you know what I mean. And then the next time we see loads of dead children, the pink guy is standing with a with a cheesy smile on his face yeah, in, the, yeah. in the Foxy mini game. So. It's kind of Scott's kind of setting himself up that yeah. these two people, because pink and purple are fairly close colors, as opposed to maybe uh, a purple and a yellow, they're they're very similar. So it kind of shows that maybe they're working on the same team, but they're far enough apart that they could be two different people. Is 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 the, the, the thinking I'm going with at the moment? That sounds very very reasonable. Yeah, I, I think that point is actually a very good one to make. Yeah. Um, there seems to be a key split between the two characters I've noticed like Raz said you only see pink man killing the mm -hmm. children That's the only time we see pink man. Yeah. is every mm -hmm. time we see him you see the dead children But with purple mm. man purple man's never associated with the children's in the mini games You know the dead children you always see him um, with the animatronics and actually not the children and mm. um it just seems like Scott's trying to do that on purpose to just give them two different um, traits. Absolutely, know? yeah, and I, I think as as well the kind of the way that the way they look. I think the pink and purple thing was a great point to raise um, uh, from Raz. That was always a concern of mine because the colours are very similar, so it definitely shows they may be may be kind of connected in some form or manner. Mm -hmm. But one of the most important things I think we should recognise is that they're two completely separate build builds of people aren't they mm -hmm. yeah. the pink the purple guy is very slim and the the pink guys are a little bit more stocky so there's a clear difference in the way Scott's chose to model them and we know Scott doesn't generally do things by accident so mm -hmm. I think if he would have considered these guys being maybe the same person he would have probably made these guys look very similar yeah. even in the pink and purple form yeah. so yeah. that for me c kind of hints towards enough evidence that the pink guy must be a separate person and mm -hmm. I suppose also the mannerisms of these two guys as you said as well it's, it's kind of like picking up on all the points that have been raised really because it, it, it's, it all seems to relate to one another you know their actions are always intertwined I would say I mean it's always in relation to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza and uh, I think almost like the order of how we see these uh, death mini games can also uh, represent something because we see the pink guy um, what is speculated to be in the first establishment where there's just Freddy isn't there and a lot of people are kind of saying that that might take place before so the pink guy could be like a previous or past employer or even someone who's still mm -hmm. hovering around the uh, business still it could be like management or something someone who's mm -hmm. higher up the hierarchy in the yeah. um, 
Purple Guy seems to make his uh, grand entrance within Five Nights at Freddy's 2. And it's, it's just that alone. It really feels like this guy maybe came along after the pink guy and he maybe was inspired by the, the pink guy's psychopathic ways. Mm hmm. Well, yeah, it's just the fact that, like, like, as I said before, apparently Purple's meant to represent authority, and, you know, why would uh, Scott purposely give this character that colour skin, if you wish, or color, uniform, whatever it is, with yeah. a very distinct badge on his chest as well, yeah. showing that he does work for the company. So I was thinking mm, that maybe the, the Purple guy is maybe an employee of the company that is helping out the Pink guy carry out his murders. So How? Hang on, hang on a sec. So if you think that the Purple guy is actually employing Five Nights at Freddy's 2, he's missing his badge in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, so yeah. this could back up the whole idea that maybe you're one of the night guys and you get fired. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was mm. thinking. Yeah, yeah, that's really yeah. interesting. I never thought about it like that before. That's actually a really good Oh, point. yeah, because you actually get fired for tampering with the animatronics mm -hmm. as yeah. well, don't yeah. you? Yeah, and yeah. You yeah. in the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 minigame yeah. exactly. approaches you exactly. with the crank as yeah. well. Yeah, very so. interesting. Well, very interesting. So yeah, maybe... Who is it that gets fired? It's Fritz Smith, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe it's that, who knows, that could possibly be the identity of the You've, you've got to ask the same question, I mean, like, who gets fired in Five Nights at Freddy's 1? Yeah, you know? yeah, because oh, yeah, Mike gets fired as well, doesn't Yeah, it's, so that's it's that's where weird. it becomes a little bit interesting. Yeah. It almost makes you think that maybe this Fritz Smith character was kind of hovering around the uh, establishment or something, and maybe when um, uh, Mike got actually fired, he could have came on, the, the establishment might close down again, because there was a lot of complaints on the um, walls about the dead children, was... so... Um, mm, it's interesting. I made a theory video a long time ago for Five Nights at Freddy's 2, and you remember the first phone call, how it says you're the second person to work here, the other yes, employee yeah. was sent to day shift, but he talks about mm -hmm. an employee um, being fired and he's not available anymore, so I feel yeah. like um, that could be him, possibly, that he's got fired. Uh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it, it, the way that, that, that it works, because it could all fit hand in hand here, because as you say, he doesn't have the badge in yeah. Five Nights at Freddy's yeah. 3. We see a picture with him in the ha with a hand crank. Yeah. And he obviously uses that hand crank to take uh, apart Springtrap. Well, he can use it to get inside Springtrap, yeah. so he knows how to operate it really, really quickly. And yeah. as we see in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, he knows how to dismantle them all yeah. Yeah. In, in a fairly quick and efficient fashion. Yeah. Plus, if he does, we are using him in the custom night to change the AI mm -hmm. of the animatronics, even though it's just a, a custom night sort of thing for fun, mm -hmm. then um, you would have to have some sort of pretty decent knowledge. If I went mm -hmm. up to a robot, I would I would yeah, know yeah. how to, <laughs> if they give me a hand crank and said, just pop that there, Raz, twist it, and you can pop yourself inside, I could do that, but I wouldn't be able to reprogram a an animatronic to, yeah, to, to yeah, be yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. What's, what, what's interesting about that minigame, I was just thinking now, is that the fact that the purple guy approaches you with a hand crank, obviously, supposedly, uh, it was only Springtrap and Spring Freddy, or mm -hmm. whoever it is, mm -hmm. that have that ability, but who's to say that, you know, they can't operate inside these suits? I mean, as we can see in that minigame, Save Them, there are five children scattered around the establishment. Mm -hmm. What if he's actually approaching you because you're the first one he's stuffing a child into, if you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He's taking you apart to stuff a thing, a mm -hmm. child into, yeah. Very interesting. So, the second section of this is something that is actually quite debatable amongst us four, and more particularly, Lewis, or Dorco's Games, believes an entirely different thing towards what we're about to say, and that is if the Purple Man is good or bad. So, we're going to let Dorco take the lead on this one firstly, because he has a difference of opinion to us three. So, yeah, the reason why I think Purple Man could have an innocent side to him is because you don't, you never see Purple Man associated with the murders specifically. You always see him near the animatronics trying to do something with them mm. and there's actually a different side to that people think like i think raz said before he's taking them apart to hide evidence of the children being stuffed into the animatronics but people are saying there's a different trait to that that maybe purple man's trying to get rid of the spirits inside the animatronics maybe he's thinking oh my god these are these are alive because someone's killed them and they're the, the possessing the animatronics what if i try and take them apart and it will try and sort things out for them, you know? Okay. And it was a consequence for him because obviously the spirits got out and then he got stuffed into Springtrap. And the reason as well I think he could have an innocent trait to him is because um, the update what Scott did in Five Nights at Freddy's 3 where you hear his voice and people mm -hmm. think he's saying, help me, you mm -hmm. know, like, help me, I'm stuck in here, I can't get out. And, yeah. um, and, uh, and the fact as well that when Purple Man gets shoved into Springtrap, um, the spirits are still out there, you know, it's not finished, there's unfinished business. 
but mm-hmm. you you guys can solve that because you guys have got another theory about that but as well as that um people are going to say but why would they go after purple man the animatronics go after all the night gods it's not just purple man who's being mm-hmm. chased by these animatronics it's every single night god who he's been in five nights at freddy's okay Interesting, yeah, and I, I suppose that also kind of backs up the idea that there may be two different people with the Pink Man, because when mm-hmm. he's associated with the Foxy animatronic, that thing is set to kill, pretty much, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It definitely goes straight in, and now I suppose that was an interesting perspective on things. It does make you think about the alternatives of the Purple Man, but um, each of us now have got the idea that he may be the bad one, so this is something for you guys to think about. Well, I think the... Um the main thing that kind of backs up, I don't know, the fact that he might be a bad guy is his facial expressions mm-hmm. when he's yeah, tearing yeah, yeah. the animatronics okay. apart. Yeah. Yeah. It's like very evil. He's, you know, he's doing that for a reason, and he's purposely doing that. It's not like he's mm-hmm. got a, like a kind of sad, open face with worries, get lines going out. It's just like he's really angry, going towards the animatronics and dismembering them. And I see. when he actually goes into the spring trap suit, you can see him with huge eyebrows, mm-hmm. just running into the suit. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Um, and he laughs, doesn't think, he? Hysterically. He does. Yeah, 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 he laughs. Yeah. 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 But then again, I, th- I, 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 suppose, might... I suppose the alternative <clears throat> you have to think is that maybe after he freed these spirits or something, because like Lewis said, they always come for the night guard. Maybe he, they were coming for him and he, he could have been kind of... Well, you, know, you never know what his thought process mm. was this far after. He may have freed them and then realised, you know, oh god, maybe this was a bad idea. Yeah. So he hides in this suit, he knows the kids might be scared of this, so he's laughing. And then the inevitable happens and he mm-hmm. becomes Springtrap. Mm-hmm. It just the, the laughter, just that that whole scene. He it looks like he's because if you had freed them with the intention of freeing them, you would probably suspect that you could maybe see the spirits at some point. He, he just seems frightened in a way that I've done something bad here to these people and they're coming yeah. to get me. That's the, the, the that's the, the way kind he's of kind of fear. almost he's almost poking at them, isn't he? Yeah, with yeah. The, and then the when he when he jumps into um, the Spring Bonnie suit, Spring Trap, he he's he, he's like I'm victorious here. I mm-hmm. I have I have solved it once again. I know you're not going to hurt me because you're tricked by this costume and then that's when he gets trapped. Mm-hmm. Um but it would be a fantastic twist. Mm. It would be a fantastic twist if we have all suspected the purple man being this bad guy the whole time and it turns out that it was the pink man and uh, yeah. the, the purple man was just trying to help. He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. He got framed maybe yeah, and yeah. he's just been left to take the fall. Maybe he was n- not even... I, I don't think he's necessarily the the worst of the pair. I think he's... Yeah, yeah, that's. He, what I, he, I think say. he's. I think he's. I think he's a. He's a bad guy. He's not a nice man. You're not gonna <laughs> take him home to your parents and say, "Here, mum, here, dad, here's the purple man. He's, <laughs> a, he's the love of my life." But I think he is um, being. Uh, he's not the leader of it. I think the pink, pink man's in charge, mm-hmm. and maybe the purple man is being led along. Yeah. Yeah. I was just um, doing a bit of research on the colour pink now, and you're, this is very interesting because uh, pink Ooh. represents uh, friendship, harmony. It, it represents, um, and ah. a pink carnation. Apparently, a pink carnation means I will never forget you, which is uh, very, very interesting. So maybe yeah. that might represent like the pink guy's psychopathic traits. You know. Uh, when in highly intelligent uh, psychopaths or something, they go on these killing sprees. It's always for like some kind of unusual intention that only they will understand. So, uh, what did you say? Pink represented again? Uh, it represents friendship and uh, so may- harmony, maybe yeah. because the children love these animatronics so much, he thinks maybe binding them with these animatronics is what the kids want. Maybe he's very misled. Mm. That could mean yeah. that the pink guy is a different one, and then the purple guy is out to free these animatronics once and for all after the pink guy's this crazy psychopath has misled these children into the back room, stuffed them, and now yeah. he's finally setting their souls through. But the kids know no different, because of mm-hmm. course we can see that the puppet in Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is still controlling these guys in Five Nights at Freddy's 1, and this could mean that maybe he is still telling these children within the suits that this is the bad guy and all of the night guards should perish. So there we have it, guys. That was once again another Theory Thursday for you all. We really hope you did enjoy it, and this one was talking about the Pink Man and the Purple Man, or if they could be the same one. But remember, guys, this was all debatable stuff. We're not confirming any of this to be set in stone. You guys are entitled to your opinions, of course, as of all of us are, and we all differ at the same time. So that should show you that this topic is very debatable, and we're not really believing anything. We all have our opinions, but yeah. we're not setting those in stone, yeah, as yeah, I've said yeah. before, and we're not kind of... We're not 
blotting out everything else mm -hmm. and everyone else's opinions because everyone's opinions on this matter are really interesting and it could be one of the most important things in Five Nights at Freddy's. So there we have it, guys. We hope you did enjoy the video. Be sure to comment down below what you did think. And if you guys did enjoy this video, why not leave a like rating down below? And if you're new to any of our channels, why not subscribe? So thank you very much for watching the video, guys. And we'll, of course, <laughs> see you on the next one. Goodbye, everybody. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye, Bye. Guys. Want to see even more content from us? Consider liking and subscribing to ensure you'll see all content in the foreseeable future. And hey, why not check out our past two videos?